Bailey, talk about your time at Mississippi State, playing for the great, legendary coach, Babe McCarthy, uh, and you were such a great player at Mississippi State. Talk about Mississippi State when you were there and how that compares with college basketball today. Well, of course, one big, one big difference is the three-point shot. Uh, we, don't have, we didn't have it back in those days. We didn't have a shot clock either. So uh, the game was quite a bit different, but the, the baskets were the same size and the floor was the same size. And to play winning basketball, you know, you had to, you had to do, <clears throat> be skilled in the fundamentals and you had to be competitive. You know, if you're not competitive, they you're going to get blown away. And one, uh, one of the things I noticed about that picture are the shoes, Bailey. Yeah, they're, they're not quite the same that the players wear now. No, uh, -uh. they, but they were adequate. <laughs> <laughs> they were adequate. Was, was there more passing in basketball when you were playing than today? Uh, today's game seems to be. Uh, sometimes it's all about me, uh, the guy with the ball, and look at what I did. Uh, did. Did you have those kinds of things going on when you were playing? Well, yeah, we we had some guys that liked to shoot the ball. <laughs> you weren't one of those, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, but uh, uh, basketball, of course, is a team game. And if you're not out there together, focused, uh, trying to accomplish the same goals, you know, then uh, uh, it's going to be very difficult for you to win. But... Uh, with a three-point shot today, I think the game is is not is, is not as much uh, variety in the game today as it was when I played. Do you like the three-point shot? I I don't like it at all. I think it's a real cheap three points. Uh, you see, uh, <clears throat> the game gets to be so stereotyped. Uh, if a team is coming on a break and they got the numbers four and three, three on two or whatever, you don't see a nice passing and cutting to the hoop and a, and a layup. Uh, you see the guys pulling up behind the three-point line, spotting up, and and they throw it to one who's open, and he shoots. I guess that's one of the things that you regret, though, is, is winning the, net, uh, the conference championship 58-59 and yeah. didn't get to compete in the national tournament. Yeah, that, that had was, to be a big disappointment. Sure was, sure was. But, you know, like... You can't dwell on things like that. You got to go on. Yeah. And um, my basketball wasn't over. For well, guys, that's, that's that their for basketball sure. was over, it was you know, it had to be really tough for them. It was tough enough knowing that I could, I was planning on, you know, playing many more years. Yeah. And <laughs> and, and you still hold all the rebounding records at Mississippi State, which I'm sure you're aware of. Uh, that you, you study that record book sometimes to, to make sure nobody's breaking those records. How did, I how wish did, somebody would. <laughs> how did guys get so many rebounds? Well, the game was different. Uh, you know, it was played often closer to the basket. By that I mean uh, the three-point shot today. You take a three-point shot, if you miss it, it's, it's liable to rebound way back out 15 feet from the, from the basket. Mm -hmm. And the guys underneath the basket, it's going to bounce back over their head. So there's less opportunities for rebounds in today's game, I think, because of that. Also, the foul uh, situation was a little different. You had more opportunities to get rebounds uh, off of missed foul shots. But uh, the big thing about uh, 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 getting a lot of rebounds is you've got to go and make the effort to get to the board. And if you shoot the ball and then become a spectator and see if it's going to go in, uh, you're not going to get the rebound if you miss it. So <clears throat> I know I work very hard on learning to shoot the ball and follow my shot. And <clears throat> it might mess up some people's accuracy who hasn't practiced that or worked on it, but you can work on it and shoot just as well following your shot as you can just becoming a spectator after you shoot. So that's uh, very, I see very few college guys really uh, pound the board, especially after they shoot. Were, were you considered in your era uh, a big time jumper? Uh, d does rebounding depend on being able to really jump up over the rim like these guys do now? Well, certainly it helps, you know. Yeah. I'd say I was an adequate jumper, mm -hmm. but position is a big thing.
Well, I was drafted by the Detroit Pistons uh, in the first round. They had the second pick that year, and uh, Cincinnati had the first pick. And Cincinnati said that we want to draft you, but we, you know, uh, uh, the whole league was struggling. De Detroit had money, their owner had money, but Cincinnati did not. Cincinnati's. So they said, what do you have to have to play for us if we draft you? And I said, well, I've got to have at least $15,000. For the year. <laughs> for the year? Not yeah, for the game, year. for the no, year. For the year. Uh, uh, Jerry West and myself both scored our 10,000 point in the same game. Did you really? Yeah. But I, he was a year behind me, I think. <laughs> so he, he scored at a little more rapid pace than I did. Still, but 10,000 career points, same night as Jerry West. Uh -huh. Same game as Jerry West. Right. He, that is a a good trivia question. Yeah. I think most people, I know most people of, of my era and most Mississippi State people, when they think of Bailey Howell in the NBA, they think of Bailey Howell and the Boston Celtics right. and, and the world championship teams. Uh, you played for Red Arback? Well, actually, I only played for him during all, at some All-Star games. And then Bill Russell? But Bill Russell, when I was traded to Boston, Bill Russell was a player coach. Player coach. He had been named a player coach that summer. Red had retired that spring, and uh, so they said, Russell, who do you want to be the next coach? We know you might not play for very many different people. Who would you play for? He said he would only play for Frank Ramsey, nobody else. Well, Frank Ramsey wasn't interested in coming back. Uh, you know, he had been a, a good player with the Celtics for years, but he was retired, and he wasn't interested in coming back and coaching, so they said, well, we'll just make Bill the player coach. <laughs> Maybe this is your first championship team, 1967-68 with the Boston Celtics. Tell us a little bit about going into the playoffs that year. Well, uh, we uh, had beaten Philadelphia in the Eastern Finals, and uh, <clears throat> The two starting forwards for the Celtics, myself and Tom Sanders, and Tom Sanders was sort of the defensive specialist, and I was expected to score. And I played the whole game, really, you know. I mean, not all the minutes, but produce on both ends of the floor. And uh, <clears throat> Tom normally guarded the best player on the other team. That meant he would be guarding Elgin Baylor. And, uh, but we needed more offense in the game and Tom wasn't that good of a scorer, so Russell had started starting Havlicek in Tom's place. But Elgin was such a threat, uh, I kind of uh, sensed that Russell might decide to start Havlicek in my place <laughs> and let Tom Sanders guard Elgin Baylor. So I went to Russell and I said, Russell, I'd like to guard Elgin in this next series. <laughs> uh, at practice, if we were late, we would get fined per minute. Yeah. I can't remember how much it was, but it, it was, uh, you didn't want to give that money up, you know. Sure. So, uh, but Bill was a player coach, so as player, as a player, he should be on time too, you know, although he didn't practice. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, he didn't practice? No, he didn't, practice. he didn't practice. Once he got in condition uh, for the season, he didn't practice anymore the rest of the year. Uh, and But anyway, uh, it, he would come in late. And so we were getting fined if we were late, but he was not. So we finally got him to agree that the time, the clock didn't start uh, uh, up on us being late until after Bill got there. <laughs> <laughs> so <for> Russell time. <laughs> Russell time, right. You asked me a moment ago what was one, uh, some games maybe I remember out of my pro career. Well, there's so many games, it's hard to remember. But I guess one of the things I would be proudest of is that on a couple of occasions in my career in pro ball, I got over 30 rebounds in a game. One of those games was against Wilt. Oh my goodness! So, and with Wilt out there, that you wouldn't think there's a lot of rebounds floating around. You know, you were, you were managing to get in there somewhere and get right. some. I mean, I was chasing that ball. <laughs>